In this video, we're going to learn how to find the square root of a number in C by using the square root functions that are built into the C standard library. The first thing we'll do is include the math.h library because including this library will allow us to use the square root functions. The sqrt function accepts a double value as an argument and it returns the square root of that number as a double value. So here we could have double result one is equal to sqrt nine. So here we're calling the square root function sqrt and we're passing it the value nine as an argument. It's going to return the square root of nine. We're gonna store that into the double variable result one. We could output the result here. We could have printf sqrt nine is equal to and then percent %f to output the double variable result one. Then here we'll have result one. And if we save, compile, and run our program, we get that the square root of nine is three, which is correct. So the function is working. Now what if we try to find the square root of a negative number? Negative numbers don't have real square roots. We could have here double result two is equal to the square root of, let's try negative nine now. If we try to output result two here for the square root of negative nine, we'll get an interesting result here. So we'll save, compile, and run this program, and now we get NAN. So NAN means not a number. In other words, we can't find the square root of negative nine. The result we'll get is a special value, not a number. Now the sqrt function accepts a double value as an argument and it returns a double value. There's also an sqrtf function that accepts a float value as an argument and returns a float value. So for example, we could have float x1 is equal to 2.0 and then float result three is equal to sqrtf x1. So here we're calling the function sqrtf and we're passing it the value stored in the float variable x1. It's going to return a float value that we're storing into result three. Here we could output the result. We could have printf sqrtf 2.0 is equal to percent %f backslash n and we'll output here result three. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we get that the square root of 2.0 is 1.414214 which is correct. Now the difference between sqrtf and sqrt is that sqrtf works with float values in terms of the argument and the return value. And remember, the key difference between doubles and floats in C is that doubles can store a greater range of numbers with a greater degree of precision than floats by using more memory. There's also a square root function for long doubles where a long double is guaranteed to use at least as much memory as a double, but potentially more, according to the C standard. So a long double may store numbers of greater range and more accurately than a double, potentially. Let's test out the long double function. Here we'll have long double x2 is equal to 2.0, and then we'll have long double result four is equal to sqrt L. So the long double function is sqrtl, and we'll pass it the value of x2 as an argument. Then here we'll output the result. We'll have here printf sqrtl 2.0 is equal to percent %lf backslash n, and then result 4. So we use percent capital %lf because this is a long double value that we want to output. We could save, compile, and run the program. And here, we seem to get the same result for the square root of 2.0 as we did with the sqrtf function. Let's try to output more decimal digits. Here I'm going to have percent dot %15 and percent dot %15. This here is going to output the numbers with 15 decimal digits. This will allow us to see the difference in accuracy between the two functions because the square root of two with 15 decimal places of precision is actually this number here. Let's save, compile, and run the program. 
And here we can see in the case of SQRTF, we get this number here that matches the actual result to a point. At a certain point though, it no longer matches the actual result. But the SQRTL function matches all of these digits here in the actual real result. So if we use the SQRTL function with a long double value or long double variable, we can potentially get a more accurate result. So this is how we can use the built-in square root functions in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.